And we're underway oh. with six of WWE's top superstars going at it. Sit back and enjoy, guys. It's not every day you get to see six oh, big-time names like this in the same match. And back down the hard way. Your body was meant to bend like that. She's not looking good here, guys. Man, she's got to get herself together here. Warm up the buses. This one's over. by Bailey. Bailey's on the attack. She lands an enormous elbow. She's starting to feel it. She's got two very capable partners in her corner. Now might be a good time to bring one of them in. You sound surprised, Cole. Come on. Think about who she's in there with. This was bound to happen sooner or later. From the looks of things, it just doesn't appear to be her night. But hey, it's still early enough for her to get back into this thing. Natalia is a force within the ring. Over time, there have been various types of six-man teams that have been successful. There are family trios like the Guerreros, the Grahams, the Andersons, and the Von Erichs. There have been members of factions who have also produced tremendous six-man teams like the Fabulous Freebirds, the Four Horsemen, the NWO, and D-Generation X. Byron, you mentioned some families and groups that created incredible six-man teams. Talking more about factions, don't forget about the likes of the Hart Foundation, Evolution, the Wyatt Family, the Shield, and the New Day. These are only some of the trios who had unbelievable matches against a variety of adversaries. If we're talking about three-man teams, I need to shout out one of the baddest trios of all time who held the World Six-Man Championship on a number of occasions. I'm talking about the American Dream Dusty Rhodes and the Road Warriors. When the Dream put on the face paint, you knew it was going to be a bad night for their opponents. Almost there. So look out. There's the tag. And that changes the entire outlook for these women, Michael. And here we go now. Drops the elbow. Great offense by Bailey. Bailey's on the attack. Oh no, she's in a bad way now. And now it's Bailey on her heels. But she knew this match wasn't going to be easy. Hey, when you put six of the most competitive women, here's a cover. Bailey quickly getting the shoulder up. Gonna take more than that. From what we've seen and heard tonight. There must be serious injuries. Bonebreaker! She's starting to stagger a bit. And the confidence she came into this six women's tag team match seems to be fading a bit. Yeah, but I feel pretty confident in saying that she still has plenty of gas left in the tank. comes in off the tag. Something that is always important in a six-man match is having the ability to perform double-team moves. One of the things that successful six-man teams try and execute are double-team moves and then have the third team member perform a signature or finishing maneuver to deliver maximum impact to an opponent. Here we go with Ruby Riot. What do you think Bailey needs to focus on right now? She's got two partners in her corner, 
itching to get in there, guys. Teamwork is always paramount in a six-man tag match. Superstars want to be able to have a level of teamwork where two members of the trio perform a double-team move, and the third member follows that up with a move so their opponent is really down for the count. The key is to deliver the maximum amount of punishment to your opponent in the least amount of time. You have until the referee's count of five. It's not like you have all day in the ring. But if your team of three can deliver that type of offense, your trio will be in good shape. Here's Ruby Riot. She dodges that one. Things are looking bleak for Bailey here. This could spell the beginning to the end for her here in this six-man tag team match. Man, if you have a weak stomach, you might want to hide your eyes. This is getting tough to watch. Bang! Riot kick! Oh, man, Bailey's going to need a hug after that. Bailey really... She goes for the cover. And the count's broken, keeping the match alive. There are times during a six-man tag match where the hostility between two teams overflows. The result is complete chaos, and all six superstars duke it out inside, and many times outside the ring. It's complete and total chaos. But if you're one of the legal competitors in the ring during that time, you must return to the ring. Oh, and she makes the tag. And not a moment too soon, Michael. Oh, and she gets floored by that one. Yeah, there's no staying on your feet after something like that. Byron, you talked about the moment in six-man tag matches when all semblance of order breaks down. Many times the two teams are so determined to tear each other apart that they don't pay attention to who the legal person in the ring is or where the referee is in their 10 count. That's a huge mistake. In the throes of battle, superstars lose their composure in what was a six-man tag match, breaks down into a pure six brawl. And if you don't keep an eye on the referee's count, you could get counted out and be the reason your team loses the match. I can see Byron making that mistake and ruin it for everybody. Since the moment she arrived at WWE's Performance Center, Sasha Banks has been breaking through the glass ceiling on the way up the ladder of WWE. Natalia in up the tag. A quick reversal by Bailey. As you brought up, Michael, Sasha Banks has shattered the expectations of women in wrestling. Proving true athleticism and true greatness knows no gender. You know what, Byron? I'm in rare agreement with you. Male or female, it doesn't matter. The boss has been one of the top performers in WWE night in and night out. Not playing any games tonight. Everyone better watch out. Even me. Ruby Riot is not interested in red carpets auditioning for Total Davis and making personal appearances. This is a cold-hearted individual who wants to take down the entire system in sports entertainment. You just don't appreciate an entrepreneurial spirit, Cole. Ruby Riot embodies the punk rock ethos of do it yourself. You'll do whatever it takes to make it to the top. Guys, touching on Ruby Riot's punk rock mentality, this is a woman whose goal is to cause a riot. The entire women's division has been on edge since the Riot Squad exploded onto the scene. I, no one is safe. WWE superstars need to realize that as long as Ruby Riot's competing, they're walking on dangerous ground, Saxton. And if someone gets in her way, they're getting stepped on. And she turns it around on her. From the hallowed ground of the Heart Dungeon in Calgary, Alberta, Canada, Natalia debuted in WWE at odds with the Bella Twins and managed the Heart Dynasty to the WWE Tag Team Championship. She's got the skill and the stamina to really do some damage here. Oh yeah, here's Natalia. Oh, talk about getting flattened. Yeah, she's gonna be feeling that one for a while. Natalia began competing in singles action and formed a dominating alliance with Beth Phoenix soon after the Queen of Hearts was part of the debut season of Ease 
Total Divas reality show and added a red carpet correspondent to her resume. Natalya returned to managing and led Tyson Kidd and Cesaro to WWE Tag Team Gold before reinvigorating her singles career, which included a classic match for the NXT Women's Championship against Charlotte. A driving force of the women's revolution today, Natalya's goal is to dominate the women's division. Natalya says, not this time. Natalya's version of the sharpshooter taught to her by her uncle, WWE Hall of Famer Brett. Hitman Hart is perfectly executed and can snap an opponent's back like a twig. It's not very often you see six superstars of this caliber competing at the same time. What an amazing six-man tag match. Here are your winners, Bailey, Natalia, and Sasha Banks. And the official.